Today, I want to read to you from 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1, where we read this. Now, Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great and honorable man in the eyes of his master, because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor, but a leper. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1 introduces us to an important, powerful man, a general named Naaman. We read that he was a great and honorable man, and that God had blessed him with victory for the Syrian army. We also learn that he was a mighty man of valor, just like Gideon, uh, Jephthah, David, Jeroboam, and several others in the Bible. In fact, it seems that Naaman was the only Gentile that the Bible gives that title, a mighty man of valor. General Naaman had a lot going for him, but the last three words of 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1 change his story completely. With his power, status, and influence, Naaman was a great man, but a leper. What the Bible calls leprosy often began with the loss of sensation in some parts of the body. Because of the nerve damage, the muscles start to waste away. The hands and the feet become disfigured, and they often deteriorate so much that fingers and toes are lost. Over the span of 20 or 30 years, a leper might lose his hands and feet. It was, as William Barclay wrote, a kind of terrible progressive death in which a man dies by inches. Now, the leprosy described in the Bible was a contagious, debilitating disease that corrupted its victim and made him essentially dead while he was alive. Most people thought that lepers were under the special judgment of God, deserving no pity or mercy. For all these reasons, the Bible uses the condition of leprosy as a picture of sin and its effects. So, remember those tragic words about Naaman, but a leper. Those words speak to us today. The effects of leprosy run deep, but, but by appearance, the leper is skin sick. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. All humanity is sin sick. Spiritually speaking, we are all lepers until Jesus heals us. No matter what we accomplish in life, we still have to deal with sin. Our sin sickness makes us dead while still alive. We can't heal our own sin sickness. Our sin sickness often follows a slow progression. Left to itself, our sin sickness will grow worse and worse, and our sin sickness will lead to death without what only God can do. Now, let me give you the end of the story. The story of General Naaman that begins in 2 Kings chapter 5, it's going to have a happy ending. That isn't true of every sin sick person. But Jesus knows how to heal both the leper and the sinner. Jesus rescues both the skin sick and the sin sick. Look to Jesus for that today.